Melbourne Holocaust Museum is a very, very skillful manipulation of surface. And using a simple planar kind of outcome, it's, you know, Kirsten Thompson's incredible ability to craft a range of different experiences, both external expression and also the use of light to the interior through the manipulation of the surface itself. A very, very rich project that has been very skillfully executed. The Melbourne Holocaust Museum um, is an extraordinary project. The use of brick in a single plane, the interface with the heritage building, the detailing, but the textural and painterly qualities that are evoked from a single material in a single plane are actually extraordinary. Um, it's just a joy to look at. The Melbourne Holocaust Museum used brick very innovatively and I just thought the facade articulation was incredibly beautifully composed. I thought it was really interesting how the architects had chosen to uh, have the new and the existing in the same plane and yet each one was uh, articulated differently. The Melbourne Holocaust Museum is an absolutely beautiful project. Uh, we loved it as a, as a body of jewellery. And I particularly love the fact that Brick becomes the silent hero within the project that actually creates light. And it creates a very particular quality of light, which advocates for reflection, advocates for calmness and serenity in what could be a really interesting and challenging environment. Both the external appearance of it, but the internal experience of the light, the way Brick has been used as a light shaping um, material is amazing, extraordinary.